So today I'm talking about a P0207 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. So what is a P0207 code? Well, it's an ejector circuit open cylinder seven. And so what does this mean? Well, basically each cylinder on the engine is going to have a fuel injector that's just injecting fuel into that cylinder. But when you get this P0207 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these, mainly the cylinder seven fuel injector. If you were to get a P0201, that would point to the number one cylinder. P0202, that'd point to the number two cylinder, and so on and so on. So when you get this P0207 code, it's pointing to the number seven cylinder. So the first thing to do when you get this code is to locate the number seven cylinder on your particular vehicle, since there is differences, because that's going to be the one having the problem. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0207 code? Well, the main things that's going to cause this is either the fuel injector on cylinder seven has gone bad and needs to be replaced, or there's some kind of wiring issue going to it. There's like an open, there's a short, there's a blowing fuse, something along those lines. And so there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. And the first thing I would go and do is I'd go and test that fuel injector and be sure that the circuit part of it is working and that there's no issues with the fuel injector. And basically how these fuel injectors work is that there's going to be a coil inside of here is that when voltage goes to it, it's going to energize. It's going to pull up on a magnet, which is going to let fuel go into the cylinder. And so you can go and test the electrical part of a fuel injector using a multimeter. And basically to do this, you look up what the rated ohms is for that fuel injector, since there is differences. And then you set your meter to ohms and you check to see if it falls inside that range. And if it doesn't, you know it's bad. If it's open, you also know it's bad. A lot of times it can be hard to find that information on what that fuel injector ohm should be. So if you can't find that information, what you could do is you could check a known good one and then check to see if the one you suspect is bad falls inside the same range. So for example, if you know like cylinder number six that it's working correctly, then you could check the ohms on that fuel injector and then see if they match on cylinder number seven. Because the first thing that could cause this is a bad fuel injector. And so the next thing that's going to cause this is the wiring going to the fuel injector. If there's an open, there's a short, there's a blown fuse, anything like this, then it's going to cause problems. So you can go and check the fuses, be sure that they're all good, that there's no issues going on there with any fuel injector related fuses. Also, it's always a good idea to get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But usually how these fuel injector circuits work is that when the key's on the side of the on position, you're gonna get voltage going to that circuit, which is usually 12 volts. So one of these wires going to that fuel injector when the key is on should be hot, usually with 12 volts. So you can use a 12 volt test light or a multimeter and check and see and be sure that you're getting voltage going to that cylinder number seven. If you're not, then you know there's an issue right there. You need to go find out why you're not getting voltage to that circuit. The other wire is gonna be a ground wire. And this is the way the computer controls the fuel injector circuit, is it sends a signal to that fuel injector by controlling the negative side. So you can go to the positive side of the battery and go to the negative side of that circuit and be sure you're getting a good ground. If you're using a 12 volt test light, you can go to the negative side of that circuit, go to the positive side of the battery, start up the engine, and you should see that little light inside there start to pulse. If it's getting a signal from the computer, it's gonna pulse slightly. You'll see it kind of pulsing. And that usually means that it's working. There is some dedicated lights for this called Noid lights. These are real low cost lights, usually like four or five dollars or something like that. And they basically just make it easier to see that pulse that happens inside of there. Because sometimes a 12 volt test light, it can be kind of hard to see that pulse inside of there. Although usually you can't see it. I made a full video on how you go about testing all this, the ejector, the circuit, along with that pulse that happens. I'll put a link to that video down in the description below if you need to check that out. But basically, a lot of people go and get these low-cost Noid lights to check to see if they can see that pulse inside of there. And if you do see that pulse, that usually means that that negative side is working. Because the last thing that's going to cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0207 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.